this is the first time uh, Musa comes after he left uh, Israel in 2006. Uh, it was a very surprising uh, visit. He just uh, announced days before he arrived that he's uh, going to come. Uh, when he did it, I uh, contacted uh, a few members of the Knesset and uh, Deputy Minister Ayub Kara uh, invited him and I'm very thankful uh, for that. Um, I think that, you know, the fact that uh, Israel let Mossab come to Israel after revealing his uh, story uh, is very important for us as uh, Israelis because uh, we have a chance to tell him uh, thank you and in the psychological uh, level I, I can tell you that he is very very happy uh, to be here to be, to be invited uh, to the Knesset um, you know I think that we need to uh, learn how to say thank you to people that help us and this is a very good uh, chance to, uh, to do it now when he talks about the, the lies, the, the, what brought him to understand that he's living in a lie when, in terms of the world of terror, it sounds so obvious and so clear. Why don't we see thousands of people like him? I think that the Palestinian, uh, uh, Palestinians in general, they live without knowing anything about democracy. They don't know that th there is uh, another option. And the way their uh, society is organized, uh, it is very hard for someone to go against uh, their, uh, his uh, or her uh, family. Uh, you know, uh, Musab, after uh, he revealed his uh, story, he started to uh, get uh, threatened uh, for his life. So you understand that when someone criticizes and then uh, he gets a death uh, sentence, most people are afraid. So basically his visit here is also somewhat uh, dangerous. Well, uh, yes, it's always uh, dangerous. Uh, Al-Qaeda and Hamas announced that uh, uh, they want to kill him. Uh, uh, his life are in threatened, but, you know, he, he uh, takes it uh, under consideration, and uh, I hope uh, everything will be okay.